So for the rest of the semester, we want to look at building a web page that's tied into a database. And we're going to build that web page on one of the school servers. So the first thing we need to do is get a database onto the server so that we have some data to work with. And we're going to use the employees database. And I'm going to show you one way to install this thing um, onto the server. So do a Google search for employees database. And one of the things that comes up, at least in my window, is this sample database um, for MySQL. And if you go to the installation link, uh, it takes you to GitHub, which you should have an account for. And if you don't, I don't think it matters. And then I want to download this thing. So I've actually already downloaded it. Uh, but just download the zip. And you can put it in your downloads folder and then unzip it there so you've got the directory. Now the next thing we want to do is when you do that, that puts the database onto your local machine. And you can load it into uh, MySQL on your local machine. But we want... Really? Really? No. I do not want to do that. I don't know what that's about. Okay, so what I want to do now is get a piece of software to put this thing on a school server. So the easiest way to do this is to use something called WinSCP. Um, so there's a couple places you can download it from. You can go to SourceForge or you can go here, go to the installation and download and install it. I'm about to run it. When I do this, I'm actually going to pause because when I run this thing, it shows some information that I'm not quite comfortable with putting out on the internet. So I'm going to pause. All right, so when you open up WinSCP, you're going to have some setup things to do. You're going to have to give it the server credentials. You're going to have to give it a password. I will provide those to you and help you out with those. And when you log in, you get two different directories here. This is a directory on my desk on my laptop and then this is a directory actually on the server and you can navigate through these things just by clicking here so this will take me into the DC directory um, or I can click up here and take me back to the students directory this thing will take you up one directory so where you want to be is var www html students and the reason why you want to be there is very simple. So when a server loads up a web page, it uses a program called Apache. Apache handles all of the web page requests. And the way it does this is Apache looks for a certain directory on a server. And on the server we're running, it runs Ubuntu. So that's a version of Linux. And on Ubuntu systems, it always goes to the directory var www.html. Students is a directory I've made, and inside of here we got a bunch of directories for each one of you. Hopefully you can figure out who you are. I'm DC. So I'm going to go to my DC directory, and I am going to move these files that I've unzipped over to the server. So I clicked on the first one, and then shift, click, that copy. Um, highlights all of them and then drag over and I should have permissions to do this and I'm going to get all of these files moved over there although apparently it's going to take a little while alright so I'm going to pause the video that took me about five minutes to do that upload all right, so now all the files are over on the server. I am done with WinSCP. Handy little tool. And we're going to get out of there. I uh, don't need this anymore. And I closed my web browser, browser while we're at it. Okay, so now that I have those files up there, I've logged into the server using a PuTTY session. You have the server, server credentials, so you know how to get there. And now when you do this, let's see, you are in your home directory. So I got a bunch of crap in here. Um, where we want to be is here. And I want to be in DC. All right, so there are then all those files that I uploaded. Okay, 
Now I want to make use of those files and put them into the SQL server that sits on um, this server. So this is an Ubuntu server. This is a flavor of Linux. And all Ubuntu servers actually come automatically set up with MySQL on them. So it's just a matter of accessing the database. You've been given credentials to do that. And uh, so now I'm going to show you how to take this database and put it into the existing MySQL database on the server. So before we um, put this database into MySQL, we're going to have to do a little bit of editing. I don't want everybody to load in employees.sql as employees.sql. So we're going to have to edit this thing. I use an editor called Vim. I showed you how to use Nano. Vim is more popular. Uh, Nano is a very basic editor. Vim has more features. So I'm going to edit um, employees.sql. And when you go into Vim, when you first log in, you're actually in a command mode. To change things, you have to hit I. And you can see down below that's changed and puts us in insert mode. So what I want to do is put us in and change this to DC employees. So now I'm using the database DC employees. And this is just creating a bunch of tables. So create table employees, that's fine. Create table departments, manager. Table, table titles, table salaries. All right, so now that I'm done, hit escape, W for write, Q for quit, and that will make that change. And I want to take a look at some of these dump files. So these dump files are what's used to um, load in all the information. Turn to the departments. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure that in here they didn't hard code. That database information. It doesn't look like they did. Okay. All right, so let's try this again. Actually, we don't even have to give this thing a name because it's going to be automatically DC employees. Um, if you read the directions, it says something about using a um, dash T option. That just means it's going to show the output in tabular format. I don't know that's a big thing, but I thought I would just explain that since it's in the directions. If you happen to read those online. All right, I'm going to try this one more time. And Hopefully put all that stuff in there. So you can see if you were paying close attention, the output here looks a little bit different. That's the dash T. And oh my aching head. I gotta look into this. Okay, so now we quit running. Let's see if this worked. Let's just use this. <sighs> cool. Um, So let's see. Let's look at. Let me show you a little trick here. So I started typing current. I want to see current department employee. And instead of typing all that out, if you just hit tab, it's called tab completion. It will complete that word for you. And so I want to select star. I have a feeling there's a lot of information in there. So I'm going to limit this to 10. Okay, cool. So the databases are now in there. 
that's a bit of work but you know what working in computer systems these are things that you need to be able to do so well, let's summarize actually I'm not even sure why I'm bothering to do that um, summarize get on the internet get that SQL database get it onto your computer unzip it um, get win SCP Hoping like heck that's not the thing that caused my virus because then you're all going to curse my names. I've been using WinSCP for years um, and I know our, our um, systems admins use it too. So, well, I hope that's not the issue. Um, use WinSCP to move those files over to um, your directory on our server. So you have information for all that information. Where is the server, um, your login information. Go in and edit employees.sql so that it's not just using, um, it's not going to just import that to employees, uh, the employees database. So change it to, oh, my aching brain with this thing. And do the import. 